Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to be opening up a box of jewelry that I purchased from shopgoodwill.com. And this box of jewelry is from the Goodwill of Hillsboro, Oregon. Okay guys, so let's dive right in. So I hope everyone is doing well and happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate coming up and I hope if you are enjoying time with your friends and family or by yourself that you're well and taking care of yourselves and I don't remember exactly what this box was but we shall find out what's in here so if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christina, my channel is called Girlio, and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay, and I do direct sales through YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in these videos, please feel free to email me at girlioroxx at gmail.com. And all the instructions on how to order are indicated in the description box below. Okay, well, so this is really nicely packaged. Well packaged. Very nice, Oregon. Okay, so let's see what is in here. Wow, this is very nicely packaged and I really appreciate that. And I always try to um, send a message to the Goodwill to let them know that they're doing well. But um, this is great. Hopefully what's in here is just as great. So let's open this up. Okay. Oh wow, I'm not sure what this is. Um, this is, I'm not sure, there's no indication of what this is, so we will definitely try and see what's in here. But it looks promising, I see a lot of sparklies in here. So, first item out of the bag, let's see, this is a silver tone necklace, but I think it has seen better days as it has a bit of, yeesh, I don't know if that's rust, it looks like rust, but it is a coro, as you can kind of make out there. I think that is rust, so I don't know if I will try and clean this, but it was a very pretty collar necklace, or is a very pretty collar necklace. Um, don't know if I should be touching this, but I did have my tetanus shot a few years ago, and that was because I stepped on a, a one of those security tags in the Bloomingdale's department store. <laughs> But uh, let's not talk about that. But this, yeah, it's a very beautiful necklace, but unfortunately that is a bit of rust. Very pretty. So I'll try and clean that up. But I don't know how we'll fare with that. Okay. Next out of the box is this necklace. And this has a lot of wear too. Hmm. It definitely has wear. And let me get a wipe, because I don't know what is happening here. Maybe we can clean it up a little bit and see if the sky improves. There's definitely some discoloration on the metal here, for sure. But And this one doesn't seem to be marked, and it but this has seen better days too, and it's not marked. So sometimes when you buy these a lot, you just don't know the condition of things, unfortunately. So that's a shame. I don't know, I think this will go into craft. I don't think, even though it's beautiful, I feel comfortable selling that. Okay, so let's keep going and let's hope that there's something sellable or wearable in here. Okay, next we have this very beautiful bracelet, and it's silver tone, and let's bring it a little bit closer here, and 
does have a little bit of wear on the clasp there, but it's this angel wing. Oh, and it's got some chipping here on the silver plating. And that is very sad. So I don't think I feel comfortable selling this either, even though it's a very beautiful bracelet. Yeah, I think this will go into craft. So if anybody wants that, that'll be a dollar too. Okay, let's keep moving on and hope for the best. So here we have a nice close in a bangle, I believe. Very pretty. See that? It's really beautiful. It's green and pink. It's really beautiful. And this is actually my first close in a bangle, believe it or not. This one's in pretty good condition, and it's big on me, and it is big on me, unfortunately. But let's take a measurement on this guy. Hopefully, so let's take a measurement on this guy. So this measures about seven, I would say eight inches. So this is an eight incher, and this has a diameter of about two and a half. But that's a really beautiful one. I love the pink and the green. So we have that. So that's nice. So next we have this bracelet and it's really pretty. And a beautiful clasp with the pearls and rhinestones. However, I see a lot of verdigris here on the, the cord. So I don't know, I've not had a lot of luck on cleaning these, but I will add that to my pile to clean. But it's very beautiful, nonetheless. And this measures about six and a half inches. Very beautiful. So we have that. And we have an earring, metal. Very pretty design on this guy, silver tone. This is a clip-on. This has some wear on the back. This pad needs to be replaced. Um, this feels quite dirty, so that needs to be cleaned. We'll see if we find a match. This one is a very beautiful seed bead with an AB coating earring. And I wonder if these are from Hong Kong. Sometimes they are. This one is not marked. It's a clip-on. Really pretty. So let's see if we find a match to that. This. And I think this is the reason why I bought this box, because of this little magnifying glass necklace. Let's see if I can untangle this. So, what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? So I usually go over to my sister's place, and we do Thanksgiving over there. So it'll be nice to see everybody again, Let's see my niece and my nephew. This is really pretty. So th I bought this because of this magnifying glass, and it definitely works, I think. So yeah, it definitely works. You can definitely use this while one is thrifting. And the chain on here is just really pretty. Sort of like a brass. And I just thought this was so cute. And I'm just glad that this is in good condition. So I really like that. And I will be keeping this one for now. So at least that is in good condition, right? Okay, we have here an earring. And it is a clip-on. And this one is Marvella. And they make very pretty pearls, and this is a clip-on. It does have a little dot there. Let's see if I can get rid of it, and it, it's gone. So that's nice, bright and white Marvella clip-on. Let's see if we can find a match to that. Okay, let's keep going. Oops, I forgot about this, and this is on my lap. This is a gold tone necklace. Unfortunately, there's rust on this one too. So, um, yeah, this one needs to be cleaned. 
for sure, but it's a beautiful gold-toned necklace. So I'll put that over there. And then we have a nice strand of pearls here with a barrel clasp. And these are faux pearls. It's a nice luster to them. Very pretty. And this one measures about 17 inches long. Pretty pearls. Okay. Next we have another brooch and this is gold tone. And it's got this nice swirly pattern. And there is some wear here to the gold plate. And it's unmarked. It's pretty. This one measures about two and a half inches. We have that. And we have this necklace, which looks like acrylic plastic findings here. And it's pretty, it's unmarked. Looks like a fashion necklace. And let's get a measurement on this. It's just a silver tone chain here. This measures about 22, 24 inches around the neck. So we have that. And I bought this box a while ago, so I'm not sure what this box was described as. Vintage plus um, fashion jewelry. So this is a really pretty double-stranded pearl necklace with these acrylic AB coated beads. Very pretty. Um, it's in good condition. It's a little dusty. It's really pretty. It's like a choker length collarbone for some. It's not marked. Let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures about 12 inches with an extender of about 3 inches. Really pretty brace, um, necklace. Beautiful. So we have that. Then we have here a lady. And I'm not sure what she's doing here, but she feels like she's made out of wax. Carved wax. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in on her. Can you see her? So I'm not sure what she's doing there, but I wonder if she fell off of something. So let's see. We will leave her off to the side. Okay, next we have here a necklace. I think, or a bracelet. Let's see. And this is like a mesh metal. And it does feel like it has some wear, so I don't know if it could use a good polishing. I think I might put that into craft. I'm not sure. But it's rather large. Um, let's see if it will. So I think it's a choker necklace. So if you have a really small neck, Perhaps. But let me give you a measurement on this. So this one measures 11 inches with an extender of about three inches. So we have this. Okay, not too impressed so far. Okay, so we have this beautiful brooch. Okay, so now we're talking, right? This is really beautiful. It has like a faux damascene, damascene kind of look to it. And it is not marked. And the pin back works. Very pretty. Like that a lot. That's beautiful. Okay, so we have that. And we have a gold tone chain. And this has a tag on it and it says Sarah Coventry. So that is a Sarah Coventry necklace. It's 
Really pretty. The links on here, it's half brushed gold and half shiny. Really quite lovely, and I love the little dangle on the back here. That's so cute. I just love it when they have a cute dangle in the back. So let's get a measurement on this. This one measures 16 inches around the neck. And I just want to say that, like, yeah, holidays are not always fun for a lot of people. Because I think sometimes we don't come from the most, um, you know, the best family life sometimes. So I can understand how sometimes it brings up a lot of emotions and feelings. But um, yeah, just definitely take up some time for yourself. So this is a Monet. Definitely give yourself grace and give your family members grace as well. Okay, so this is 16 inches around the neck. And this looks kind of dirty, but I, I mean, there is some fading of the gold plate on the back. But the front looks really great, I think. So that's really lovely. I like that. Okay, keep going, guys. So we have here a brooch. I would say most of the jewelry this is not in the best condition. So this is a BSK brooch, and it's very pretty. There you go, much better. And it has this nice textured pattern here and this shiny gold, and it's quite lovely. It's very tight clasp here. That's always nice. Very beautiful. I like that a lot. And this one measures about a little less than, it's about 2.25 inches. That's a beautiful one. I like that a lot. Okay, we have this. lovely tassel necklace. So this is the top of it. And then we have these beautiful findings here. And these gold balls and then these multi-strand multi-chains here. And then we have this gorgeous tassel on the end. Really beautiful tassel. That's really lovely. I really like this one a lot. There is no mark on this, surprisingly. It feels to be good quality. And this measures, let's see, 26 inches around the neck. I love that tassel. Very beautiful. Next we have here a stick pin with the bow. How cute is that? That's awesome. I like that a lot. Really cute stick pin. I like this. This is pretty. Imagine that on a blazer or a jacket or coat or hat. Even pretty. I like that. Okay, so that's a good one. Let's see what else we have here. Ooh, now this I believe to be Damascene. Am I wrong? Maybe I am. Or is this Toledo wear? And it says Spain on the back. So I think this is Damascene. It's a beautiful cl clasp here. I got it. So Clasp is working. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Little brooch. Gorgeous. I like that. That's really nice. Okay, then we have this little strawberry pin. Beautiful. I think it's missing several rhinestones here. One, two, Three, four, five, six. But to tell you the truth, I didn't mean to give you the finger. I'm sorry, guys. Oh my gosh. To tell you the truth, I think it is just gorgeous, regardless. It's beautiful. This kind of reminds me of Amelie in that movie where she puts the raspberries on her fingers. But uh, it's really cute, actually, regardless. And it is marked. Weiss. Wow. So this was a Weiss brooch. 
And unfortunately, it's missing some rhinestones here, but wow, that is a beauty to behold, seriously. Look at the shine on that guy, the fire. And with the missing rhinestones, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Okay, so we have that. Okay, next we have this really pretty confetti-like acrylic earring. And this one doesn't have a mark. And there is some green stuff on the back. So that will need to be cleaned up, but that's really beautiful. I like that a lot. So we have that. See if we find a match. We have the match to the AB coated seed bead earrings. So that's nice. These are unmarked, but in great condition. So we have those. Okay. Next we have here a pendant. And it has some gunk on it. Let's see. We can remove it. Oh, I don't know. I think this needs a, a good cleaning. It's able to get off some of the gunk, but it is still there. But it's pretty pendant. Brush gold, big pearl. So we have that. Okay, and then we have this beautiful necklace, and I think this is a crown trafari. And this is beautiful. Um, I think in several places there is some wear to the white paint. And especially here on the ends. But I think it's still in good condition. There's a little Trout Trafari little tag. Let's get a measurement on this guy. This measures 12 inches. <laughs> Let's take a measurement on this guy. This measures about 13 inches around the neck. Very beautiful. I like that. Next we have here some oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I think this is broken. But these are plastic beads. They're not cold to the touch. They're just a beautiful carnelian color. So this will go into craft. And we'll put these in a plastic bag. This a vintage necklace has this beautiful cl box clasp here. Very pretty. But this will go into craft for somebody to restring. I used to um, restring or make jewelry a long time ago, but I don't think I was very good at it. <laughs> and we have a gold, um, gold tone earring with these. I think these are bugle beads. Very pretty. Wonder if these are glass. Those are nice. I like those a lot. Very festive. We have those, and then we have a match to the confetti earring. Lovely. I like those screw backs. We have another earring here, and this one is silver tone. This is marked Hong Kong, and it's a very pretty back here. And this one has a lot of green stuff on it. This is just plastic acrylic. So we have one of those. Then we have a pearl here. This is gold tone, and this has a mark on it. You can make it out, let me know. Not sure, so I will try and figure out what this is. Oh, it's a trefari. So it has a mark here of trefari with a copyright symbol. 
and then it has the mark over here. So those are pretty, very nice. We'll do some research on that. Okay, and then we have a beautiful pin. Wow, look at the sparkles on this guy, right? That's lovely. Pretty. And this does not have a mark on it. It's a pretty pin. So we have that. Okay, just a couple more items in here. Then we have this acrylic necklace. And this has a patent number on it. So this is a lovely clasp. Oops. And these are just acrylic white plastic beads. And this one measures, let's see. This one measures about 30 inches around the neck. So there's the top of it. And this is how long it is. So we have that. Okay, guys, then we have the match to the white earring. And this one was a Marvella. So these are nice white earrings. These measure about an inch as well. So we have these. These are in good condition. And then we have another pair of white earrings. And these are acrylic. And really interesting, sort of a fan or angel wing design. And these are unmarked. They're a little bit dirty. But they are cute. Earrings. So we have these. And these measure about an inch and a little less than an inch and a half. Cute. Have those. And we have these green earrings. And these feel cold to the touch, so I wonder if these are sort of a stone. Yeah, I think these possibly could be some sort of a stone. I'm not sure. These are a bit dirty, so they do need to be cleaned. But very pretty. And I will try and test these if I get a chance. But if you happen to know what these are, please leave a comment down below. Very beautiful. And these measure about an inch and a quarter. So pretty. Have those. And I have these earrings, which are metal, and has this rhinestone in the middle, and they're sort of like a bluish white color. It's missing two spots of paint right there on this one. Three spots of paint, but I think it's still beautiful, beautiful earrings, and there is no mark on this, but these need to be cleaned up as well. Very pretty, and these measure about an inch and a quarter. So we have those. Okay, just a few more items, guys. And what do we have here? Something looks broken. So I think, here's the lady, right? And I don't know what this was a part of, but yeah, unfortunately this is broken and she's wax. So I don't know, that's upsetting. But we have these beautiful earrings and they're silver tone and they look like flowers. And these are unmarked. They're really cute clip-ons, really lovely. And they measure about an inch. Love the combination of the brush gold and the shiny, I mean the brush silver and the shiny silver tone. So we have that. And then we have this necklace, which has a little music note and then a little pink stone there. And this is rather small. These pearls here. And this is unmarked. It's rather dirty. 
So I think this is like a little necklace. This is about 12 inches around the neck. So we have that. And then last but not least, we have this little flower stick pin with a pearl. So that's really lovely. So guys, um, I think that was it for this little haul. Um, what did you think about it? I think it was not the greatest one. Um, I don't remember it being listed as heavily damaged, but then again, I don't think the Goodwill always mentions. They just say that, you know, it's vintage and that there will be some tarnishing. But, yeah, I guess it's always a gamble, guys. But I really liked the earrings. The earrings were definitely nice. And I like the stick pins. So those are nice. I like this vice, but unfortunately it is missing stones. I like the pin, I like the trafari. Yeah, guys. So let me know what you thought of this lot. Just gonna take a moment here to say thank you to everybody who watches this channel, who supports me, either through buying and purchasing or even just commenting down below. I always appreciate your comments and your thoughtful and kind remarks. I think I'm just grateful for kind people because it's really hard. I think this world, if you turn on the news, every which way you turn, there's just so much anger and scary things happening. So I'm just grateful that, that once again, that people can be kind. So I just want you to take care of yourself and I hope you enjoyed this jewelry, even though it was not the best lot. And if you had a favorite, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. And please like, comment, and subscribe because that helps the channel grow and helps others find me. And most of all, guys, be well and happy Thanksgiving.